Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing The Sims 4 and it's about time we introduce a new character. It's already been introduced to the Kevin cinematic universe and I feel like it's time to join the Jim Pickens cinematic universe. His name is Turg. Speaking of which, I probably shouldn't speak like this because my mic is on this side, but new Turg merch has just launched for a limited time, you know, I was just saying. And don't worry, I've got a mod that'll allow us to try and get as close as The Sims can possibly allow us. Case and point. <laughs> that is fucking terrible. Terrifying, Jesus Christ. Who you call a pinhead? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> to even maintain concentration while looking at this thing. Jesus! I see you. <laughs> All right, I think we're getting pretty close already. That's not bad, actually. Well, I mean, it's fucking terrible, but it's getting there. Oh my god, this is actually getting kind of accurate. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Closer than I thought we'd get. Ah. Oh god, it speaks. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. Let's try out a few different hairstyles because I feel like this is close, but maybe we can get closer. Honestly, they all <laughs> just somehow make him worse every time I change it. Ah. He looks exactly like the detective from Detroit Become Human, am I right? Mm. I think he's, he's kind of done facial structure wise uh, honestly closer than i thought we'd get i'm disappointed we can't get the eyebrows but that's just impossible since they're literally floating off his face what the hell is this oh my god no get that off of turk he would never do that that kind of works actually that kind of works this is eyebrows i wonder can i move them at all no i can't that that kind of works though i'm happy with that you want to know how i got these scars <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. There you go. I think his face is done. He looks beautiful. I think that's pretty good. I like to think these are assless chaps and he just has them on backwards. <laughs> it's a very Turg thing to do. My name is Turg Turg. Okay, what is his personality going to be? I think he's going to be really popular. That's what we've seen so far. Or he could be a serial romantic. Same thing, pretty much. And that's the main goal I want. Because you see, Jim Pickens is the opposite of Turg. Jim Pickens kills everyone. Turg is going to repopulate the neighborhood and also set us one stage back in evolution. All right, he's romantic, cheerful, and good. I think for everything, he's going to be naked. His everyday clothes are fine, and then everything else, he's just naked. <laughs> he's ready to get it on. <laughs> I think that's a good picture for his family photo. It's like, well, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> now, I think what I want to do, for some reason, my neighborhood has this dog that just lives alone. I assume I just killed his owners or something, so I'm thinking we move him in with him. I don't want to move in with the original household. That'll come eventually. That will happen. And it's not going to change into a Turk series or anything. <laughs> I think it would just be nice to have two different households for this. Because there's so much else going on in Jim's house right now. Oh my god, he's just so cute. Yeah, he's definitely going to get on well with the ladies of this town. I mean, Jim killed most of the men, so they don't really have much choice. He's like, oh, another dog! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what furniture does this dog have? He actually has the basics for some reason. Alright, this'll do. His bedroom even matches Turg. Alright, his first goal is have a boy Boyfriend or girlfriend and he'd go on two dates. So let's start on that. Gotta get people pregnant fast. Oh no, it's winter and his outdoor clothes is just him naked. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well, I don't think. He's just eating applesauce. And we're waiting for the welcome wagon to arrive so that we'll actually have people to impregnate. I mean, socialize with. Same thing. He's got a bit of money. I think I'm gonna make him a little love shack. This one's called the master. Yeah, I'll buy that room, please. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to replace somewhere. <laughs> I can't fit it anywhere. There we go. Great. <laughs> This dog is going to be mortified. What I've done to his house. Oh no, he's gotten into his underwear because it's cold out. Turk doesn't understand. He's like, Turk, see breath. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to figure out what it means to have a reflection. It's like watching a dog seeing themselves in the mirror for the first time. Stop flirting with your dog, Turk. Why is the welcome mic and not coming? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go out and find people because they're just not coming over. Luckily, there's a restaurant right across the road with a load of graves. You don't have to be polite, don't worry. You can talk about about it. <laughs> She's like, uh, which it specific thing are you talking about? It's kind of weird playing as someone else in Jim Pickens' world because it's like it's a spin-off show or something. There's pictures of him up everywhere and you can feel his presence. <laughs> and you can see the impact that he's had on the world. <laughs> 
Oh my god, what is that? I guess because of that mod, my game's like, yeah, I'll just spawn people with these random sliders. Oh, she's an elder. I can't make them have babies. I'd be very interested to see what would come out. <laughs> right, you know what? I think I can actually mod this. So let's let's see. I think I can force de-age her. Age down. Oh, there you go. Now you're ready for babies. <laughs> she's like, oh no, you just made my existence longer. Are you serious? Look at the little picture on the bottom left. <laughs> it just stretches her face in the circle. Oh, amazing. She likes it. She's never been flirted with before. This this is easy. No, stop crying. She's cowering. <laughs> I don't know which one she's cowering from. Okay, <laughs> she's running away. That was the waitress, by the way. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Stop crying, uh, Turk. Pregnate her. <laughs> hey, honey. Oh, god damn it. I was trying to give you a reason to live, but I think I just gave you another reason to want to die. And that reason is me. What is happening over here? <laughs> this is a, just a feckin' disaster from start to finish. Look at this guy. <laughs> this poor guy is crying. <laughs> yeah, I think I may have cursed my game, like, entirely. <laughs> I'm kind of scared because I'm afraid when I go see Jim that he's gonna be morphed. <laughs> Ask to be girlfriend. This is something he really wants. Why do you keep walking away? I thought her eyes were just hidden under her eyelids, but I think it's actually one single eye in the middle there. <laughs> Stop rejecting me! Be my girlfriend! It's freaking out. Every time I interact with her, she just starts crying, and I don't know how I feel about that. Stop! Just kiss him, for feck's sake! This is hurting me! Okay, we're going on a date, at least. At least there's that. <laughs> Please, just like him. He needs this. She's already dining with someone else. Oh my god, it's Pufferfish! No, 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 no! Get another table! <laughs> I forgot whose restaurant we were at. Oh, fucking hell, someone's dead. <laughs> right, let's just ignore that. Don't let it ruin your date. Uh, maybe stop eating the puffer fish, though. She took it from her previous table over to her new one. Okay, he's her table. Can I order for everyone? Is that possible? Order for table. Oh, look at that selection. <laughs> we'll have the puffer fish and I'll have water, please. <laughs> we'll just have to chance our arm. By which I mean chance her arm. Excuse me, I know someone died, but I I'm hungry here. Well, thirsty. I guess. Could I make my order, please? I keep just getting up and asking her to be my girlfriend. Yes! It worked! He has a girlfriend! No, let's feck. <laughs> There's a coffin right outside we can use. All right, you're gonna have to have your first kiss first, though. Oh, this is gonna be magical. All right, let's get a little screenshot of this, you know, just for the... The scrapbook. <laughs> oh my god. The waitress is getting in the coffin. Get out. Oh, she's crying in there. All right. I guess everyone gets like five minute break <laughs> off their work shift to just go cry in the coffin. Is there anywhere else? There's a shower. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Try for baby. Uh, could we do this before you have your puffer fish if possible? Stop. Stop eating that. Stop eating it. Hold on. Let's go try for a baby. Nom nom nom. No, not nom nom nom. Stop it. Get up. Come on. Make baby. Yes, baby time. Oh my god. She finished the whole thing. How are you alive? <laughs> the door's feckin' locked, isn't it? It's just an arch. All right. What about this bush? Will that do? Oh, he really needs to pee. Okay, Jim's gonna watch over you as you do this. <laughs> Turkey's about to woohoo for the first time at the entrance to a restaurant with a woman whose head looks like a hot air balloon. Oh, someone else is dying. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to repopulate this place faster than people die. <laughs> oh, he can't believe his eyes. <laughs> I mean, if he has eyes, I'm not 100% sure. All right, everyone, I know this isn't the best time. Someone is literally dying, but um, we really gotta work on repopulating this place. So you can keep mourning and everything. We're just gonna be over here. Oh, sorry. I think my dog just pissed on your floor. Sorry, about that. He found two crow feathers and a pigeon feather. Well, that's just great. I think it's time to go home. Let's get out of here. Maybe this wasn't the best place to come since everyone's just dying. Maybe if she was twins, then the whole thing will cancel each other out. You know, we lost two people, we'll gain two people. Pet fears. No pet is truly fearless. Each pet has its own unique fears. Its fear is probably me. It doesn't understand what's going on. I think it's sick. Should we take it to the clinic? Maybe we can impregnate some people there. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Turk would fit in well in the sim world, I imagine, because they always talk nonsense anyway. You just stand there going, Turk, 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 Turk to Turk, Turk. Oh, the vet, great. She is hot dog. So that should work well for Turk. <laughs> Turk, she is friend, not food. Uh, Turk, that's someone else's pet. What are you doing? <laughs> Why is this vet naked, by the way? <laughs> All right, we got another girlfriend, and she brought her own mistletoe. That's romantic. Where can we woohoo here? <laughs> There's no bushes, no beds, no showers. What the heck? Wait, can I buy 
buy stuff here? Is that possible? Why does it allow me? <laughs> Alright, I'm buying a shower. They can business expense it. Uh, they'll be like, it's a special animal shower. Just met this dude. Oh my god, the other vet! <laughs> I was feeling like, what the hell? They were just all over each other. <laughs> he was just be like, how come he can score and I can't get anything? <laughs> Must be really insulting. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he was back to watch, but they're done. Now you can just watch this instead. Is he asleep? I can't tell his eyes are still open. <laughs> this is just so cursed. Everything in this playthrough is just cursed. Even his little picture down the bottom. <laughs> but I'm glad to see him happy. Your pet needs you. What does he need? What's wrong with him? What does that mean? What does a food bowl mean? Be more specific. What do you want? Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> uh, my dog, I, it, he needs attention. He keeps needing this food <laughs> and I just don't understand him. I think he's broken. Uh, Turk is a good guy. He'd feed his dog. Well, his owner, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what's wrong with my dog. He's stinky. He flies around him. <laughs> he needs medicine. <laughs> She's just like, you just need to feck and wash him once in a while. Now that is a medical emergency. What the hell is wrong with you? You, are you an elder or an adult? I need to know, can you have kids? Ah, oh, she's an elder. God damn it. An adult. Yes! <laughs> he's fucking exhausted. All this baby making is wearing him out. Ask to be girlfriend. I don't think Turg understands what that means. <laughs> he's just got these primal urges. He just doesn't understand social norms. Right, where's that shower? Hopefully that other lady doesn't come in. Oh my god, God is angry. The whole world is shaking. Is this an earthquake? Scared by possessed child. Oh no! First name is here somewhere. Where is he? Is it that raccoon? What is going on? Everyone is running away. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, time to leave. Jesus Christ, his face got warped from the mod. He's gonna be even more angry now. Go home, Turk. Turk, you don't understand what's about to happen. Okay, he went away. He went away. It's fine. It's fine, people. It's okay. Back to making babies. Repopulate that neighborhood. He was just going on a stroll. Uh, for some reason, my dog's watching. <laughs> Should I check him in? Like, I don't know if anything's wrong with him, but it might be for the best. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. He just makes sure he gets the job done. When he sleeps, he's actually more scary somehow. Those eyes are just terrifying. They're probably both like, oh my god, I just met this most amazing man. He is so unique. <laughs> and then the other one's like, oh my god, me too. <laughs> he's so turgalicious. Alright, what's wrong with him? Three ring flea circus. Expensive treatment. My owner deserves the best. In the meantime, someone else has showed up. <laughs> Alright, I asked to take her on a date. Let's go to... Exactly where we are for a date. <laughs> Wait, why can't we go to the vet office for a date? It's normal. All right, fine. Let's go back to the amazing bedroom my maid for a turg. <laughs> All right, if this doesn't get her pregnant, I don't know what will. Honestly, just the sight of this room and turg standing there in his underwear should do the trick. I like how he still gets changed into the exact same outfit. Maybe he changed his shoes. Can we get a replay on that? Bunny slippers are irresistible, to be fair. <laughs> the dog guy underneath the bed <laughs> midway through. <laughs> in some cultures, that's good luck. That's my culture. Uh, my culture, it's good luck. Wait, my dog is running away. She'll make her way home eventually, but posting an alert via computer or phone can help to find her. Oh my god, my owner's gone. <laughs> Have you seen my owner? <laughs> Post alert about missing pet. I even took it to the vet. I tried to care for it. I'm just not used to caring for things in this game. I should have fed it. <laughs> I think that was the one thing I did wrong. Uh, probably not best you go outside. I don't even- the hell is that thing? Ah, oh, yes. Your girlfriend. <laughs> of course that's what it is. She just ate a, a whole lemon in <laughs> one bite. That's why she looks like that. But I was about to say, I don't know even why you're going outside. What are you doing? Shovel snow? Naked? Really? <laughs> no, go back in. You're a family man now. You have four girlfriends and probably at least four <laughs> children to look after soon. I don't know how he's irresistible. Like, look at the state of him. He stinks and is covered in dirt. And he's like, let's make baby. <laughs> Turg discover birds and bees. Then Turg discover fire. <laughs> so I'll call you. Have a sim bladder fail while on a date. <laughs> Fantastic. She still loves him. Doesn't matter. This will set the mood as we sit down to eat her bowls of applesauce. Sorry, I don't really know how to cook. He actually is eating applesauce and hers has gone off. Ew. That's the applesauce, not me. There we go. Now he's falling asleep by the fire. If Turg really tried, I bet he could be one of those rugs like the bear rugs that are just flat out in front of the fire. Oh, she's getting morning sickness or just sick of the sight of him. I don't know. <laughs> I got a bronze. That's not bad considering, well, I didn't pay any attention to her other than the fact that we impregnated her and and, uh, I pissed my pants. <laughs> Alright, we're finally getting him clean. He's been in a horrible mood this entire episode. Yes, the dog is back. Fantastic. I'm actually gonna feed you this time. He's just figured out he has to feed himself, okay? <laughs> he's not a bad dude. He just doesn't understand. Oh, I should probably give him some love. Yeah, I forgot. Um, hold on. I, I don't know how to do this. How do I love things? Also, I should probably uh, edit the dog so it's more recognizable and people will know it's mine if they find it because I have a feeling it's gonna run away again. Here we go. A nice brown. <laughs> Who knows? what Turg wrote this with. Hmm. 
We've run out of space. I'll just keep going. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I've mirror on. <laughs> no. Okay, it's just going to go all the way down and turn like that there. Turg's dog. <laughs> that looks nasty. Might give you a new coat so it's a bit more visible as well. There you go. A nice pink. Brown is very visible on pink. I'll shave it back too so it's more visible again. <laughs> this poor dog. I can see the pain in your eyes. I'm making him muscly as hell. Look at this. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> now it'll never run away again. And if it does, people will know that it's Turg's dog. Oh, he doesn't look too happy though. <laughs> Why is it so dirty? No one's going to be able to see the paint if you don't clean yourself. I'm going to need to buy a <laughs> but for now, I think we've done enough good in the world for once. Except for, you know, the, the dog. But at least it won't run away anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. It's nice to do something a little bit different in The Sims. And uh, don't worry, Jim will not be forgotten. Turg is just an addition to this uh, Jim Pickens uh, cinematic universe. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching. As always, folks, I really do. It means a lot to me. And uh, I hope you're staying safe in these trying times. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.